I already won the lottery. I was born in the U.S. of A, baby. And as backup, I have a Swiss passport. Okay, everybody have their towels, swimsuits. Oscar, you brought your Speedo, I assume? I don't wear a Speedo, Michael. Well, you can't swim in leather pants. <laughs> Anybody need some block? Got an SPF 30. Oh, you know what? Uh, you're not going. That's me to say. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Toby. We, um, somebody has to stay here. And you got dressed and everything? I'm sorry, man. Classic gang only. Hey. Okay. Want my sunscreen? Oh, great. I forgot mine, and I'm wearing a two-piece. Uh, I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. That's all I've ever wanted. This way to the pate, Buzz. Um, what the hell? It's a bus that takes you to a party. Here we go. Today, we are not just spending a day at the beach. Oh, sweet mother of God. If you don't like it, Stanley, you can go to the back of the bus. Excuse me? Or the front of the bus, or drive the bus. Just... Everybody put on sunscreen. All right. Find a cozy spot. Everybody settle in. We are situated on the northeast corner of scenic Lake Scranton, America's eighth largest indigenous body of water. It is here that a group of Americans will undergo the ultimate challenge. One day, 14 strangers who work together, but only one survivor. What? Just words. Oh, thank you so much. Phyllis is out. Yes, follow my voice. Follow my voice. Yeah, keep it moving. Nice. Keep it moving right this way. Looking good. I don't want to hear Where? the big rock. Don't worry, you're I not. I know any... I'm near the big rock. I just know it. Nowhere near the big and rock. I don't want to get what hurt by What are you doing? No! Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, stop, stop, stop. There's a hole. Just step over the hole. Yes. Yep. Come on, lazy bones. Move it. Come on, come Perfect. Move it. Ooh, just made it. OK, turn come left. Come on, come on. Andale, arriba, arriba. You have to stop this right now, or I'm not going to do this anymore. What are you saying? You have to stop yelling at me, or I'm not going to do the egg race. OK, I apologize That's for yelling being at you. A good captain. I'm trying to bring team to the members spirit. of your team. Whoa, whoa, whoa stop. Another hole. Take a big step. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. You ass. <laughs> Mush! Mush! Come on, you bastard! What the? Damn it, Temp! Great job, everyone. That was fantastic. If people can't carry an egg in a spoon blindfolded, then what does that tell you about how they will be able to manage a sales report or conduct a business call? It tells me nothing. Exactly. OK, who's hungry? No, no, no. Do not touch the food. Please, not yet. That is our next event. A hot dog eating contest. Can I have a turkey burger? No, I have the only one. I claimed it. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Eat. Is there any mustard? No mustard. No mustard. Just eat it. Eat it, Phyllis. Dip it in the water so it'll slide down your gullet more easily. That's what she said. Oh, no, no, no. Not that. Just come on, you guys. Let's do it. I'm serious. Come on. The winner gets a big, big prize. No, no, no. I can't say. You can't say or you can't pronounce it? The winner gets a regional manager's salary for a year at a Sebring and the feeling that they are making a difference in the world. Can we just take those first two things? The winner of today gets my job. OK? I'm interviewing for a job at corporate. And they're only interviewing a handful of people. And I'm the most qualified, and I'll probably get it. All right? You're leaving? I didn't want to tell anybody. I didn't want to cast a pall over our fun beach day. But you know what? I don't know who to recommend, because frankly, nobody's stepping up. I am so hungry. There we go. Let's see it. I would rather work for an upturned broom with a bucket for a head than work for somebody else in this office besides myself. Game on. Come on. Come on. Let's Ryan, go. Ryan, I want to see you with a hot dog in your mouth right now. Come on. Let's do this. Aaron and I are having our own contest to see who can eat the most normal amount of tuna salad in an unspecified but comfortable amount of time. And right now, I'd say we're tied. Dead heat. Keep eating tuna, big tuna. Loser. <laughs> He's going to throw up. One came up. 13 hot dogs, everybody. <clears throat> oh, nobody told me we were going to have hot dogs. Whoa. Cool. Bouncy house. 
Kevin, take your shoes off first. Wow, look at our parking lot. Yeah, who the fuck? Is Jim gonna propose tonight? He is, isn't he? No, he's not. Is he? All right, we're here for Kinellis for this awesome party, huh? Yay! Probably the best one that we have ever had. Yeah. But the real reason that we are here is to say goodbye to a guy who we will probably never ever see again. Now, a lot of you know that I am an accomplished songwriter. Song parody writer. I have done things like um, Beers in Heaven. Classic. Or Total Eclipse of the Fart. Um, I love, I love I like them. to I sing them, but I am not going to be doing that today. I am going to be doing something I wrote specifically for Toby. Do you know um, Goodbye Stranger, Super Tramp? Yeah. It was early morning yesterday. I was up before the dawn. And I really have enjoyed my stay. Toby must be moving on. I'm gonna miss Toby. He has a nice, calming presence in the office. Goodbye, Toby. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought he was kind of cute. Come to my attention please I was waiting for the right time to do this and I, I can't think of a better time than right now with the music playing and all our friends around and fireworks going off my parents are here Andrew and Ellen Bernard thank you for sharing in this joyous moment Miss Angela Martin will you please join me on stage okay then I will come to you, my flower. Damn it! Angela, will you do me the honor of giving me your tiny hand in marriage? Okay. Into the mic, sweetie. I said okay. She said yes. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Woo! <clears throat> Do not. Uh, I'm engaged. I know. It's awesome, man. It's great, Mr. Andrew Bernard. It's got a nice ring to it. Hey, where do I park? I'm the valet. You have to give me your car. Hey, I give think it's car. better than I'm Get car. out of your car. You might want to be careful not to take some real good. What's going over here, guys? Andy, stop hovering. You're being really annoying. Didn't mean to bother you, Mabel. Mabel, Mabel, if you're able. Keep your elbows off the table. Wow. So you all work with Andy? 
Well, technically four, Andy. Technically four, Robert California. He's our CEO. Uh, I thought you were the CEO. I don't know how you got there. You said you were running the company. The, this branch. I'm the regional manager. Yes. Okay. Oh, that makes more sense. Are you all regional managers? Did I throw this party to impress my parents? It's crazy. Now, if they wanted a garden party, they could throw one themselves. Which, as a matter of fact, they did last week. They threw one for my baby brother, and it was totally amazing. But I couldn't care less. Can I introduce you around now? Uh, yeah, we don't have too long, because we, we have theater tickets. What are you going to see? Moneyball. Those? Walter Jr.'s choice. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bronard? I didn't know you were going to be here. I wouldn't have missed it. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we actually need to be <laughs> I'm Walter. I'm Andy's younger brother. Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm Jim. J Tuna, right? And this must be your lovely wife, Pam. No. Hell no. She no, wishes. No, 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 no. Sir, I, I need to be able to mm -hmm. feed all the guests. Oh, Pam. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Hello, Andy. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, I want you to meet my uh, first bosses, <laughs> mom and dad. Yes, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice. Pleasure. Andy, where shall I put your basil plant? Oh, I thought you were going to bring the marmalade. No, I'm certain you said basil. It's not funny, man. Let me down. I think this thing is broken. It's not broken, Kevin. This is how it works. It's so pretty today. It's getting chilly. Yeah, but we really should be leaving. Yeah, yeah um, you know, it'd be weird if the boss man didn't make a toast, so hang on. Everybody, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming and to raise a glass to my amazing staff. Toasts are great. I mean, you toast somebody, they toast you back. It just goes round and round. That's my favorite part about toasts, the reciprocity. Let's hear from you guys. Who do you want to toast? Yeah, I'll say something. I think we should be acknowledging our boss, because none of us would be here without him. Robert California. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. I cannot believe I didn't think of toasting Robert. Get in the game, Gabriel. Why are you talking to Stanley's mistress? To the troops. Here, here. Yes. All the troops. Both sides. I think we should toast. Ladies and gentlemen, the Last Supper. To Robert California. Yeah. 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 I would also like to toast Robert California. Mr. California. You can't triple toast somebody. I mean, at least not until we've hit everyone once. I'll say a few words if that's all right with you, Andy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You people say I led you. But it wasn't me. You want to toast the man who led you to success. But the boss is irrelevant. Andy and I produce nothing. We do nothing. We sit in our offices and demand, I want this and that right now, like petulant children. You know the difference between a crying baby and a manager. One day the baby will grow up. <laughs> But without you, Andy and I would be sitting in our dirty diapers, waiting for someone to change us, wipe us. I should be toasting you, thanking you for allowing me to have the easiest job in the universe. Cheers. 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 Cheers.